Hey, what's up everybody? We are back today with an updated video for tracking down all of the tiles included in the mosaic collection known as the Arch Demon. Now, we've gotten some commentary on the channel about pieces being moved or updated with uh, DLCs and patches. Uh, nothing's moved, nothing has been updated, but this video has been updated and we're going to go back with all the latest patches installed all the latest DLCs including Trespasser and track them all down one more time and show you exactly where they're at and where they appear on the wall in Skyhold. So if you're looking for individual pieces check the video description down below. The numbering down there corresponds to the numbering that you saw in the about five second splash screen that started this video off for the positions of the pieces on the wall in Skyhold. So if you're missing number four uh, just go to number four in the video description. It'll take you right to where that one's located, etc., etc. Nothing too complicated. If you've got any questions, please post them in the comments section below. I'll be happy to get back to you and help you in any way I can. But let's get into this and go track down piece number one. We'll be back with that in just a moment. All right, piece number one is going to be found out in the Western Approach near the Lost Spring Canyon Camp. You're going to start from that camp, head out south, Follow the pathway all the way down until you get to here on the map, and you're going to see this caged wagon. When you find the wagon, go ahead and head up, and you want to head inside the first of two caves known as the Sand Rock Mine. You're going to head down into the mine. Generally, when I'm out here, I expect to find spiders inside mines and such, but for this one, there were no spiders, thank God. Once you get inside, over on the right, you're going to find piece number one. We'll go ahead and grab that, and then we will head back to Skyhold and check out its position on the wall. If memory serves me correctly, this one should be right behind Gatsy at the entrance. I think that's what he is standing in front of. I think. Alright, uh, let's head up inside Skyhold. Proceed into the keep. And over on the left. Behind Gatsy, yes, 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 yes. So that is piece collection. number one. Wonder we'll be back with piece in number set. two in just a moment. All right, piece number two is going to be located out in the western approach. You're going to want to start at the Lost Spring Canyon Camp. From the camp, head south. Take the path as it goes south and then continues east. And you're going to find a uh, caged wagon out in front of two caves. All right? Make sure you have a mage with you because you're going to need to go through this second cave right here. And in order to get in there, your mage is going to have to energize a ramp that will lead you up into the mine. So very important. Once you get through the mine, you're going to find some spiders, fight them, kill them off, and then head out the other side of the mine. And you're going to find yourself in front of the still ruins. Once you get out here... Just up there is where you come out of the cave. You're going to find yourself down here. Fight off some Venatori out in front of the ruins. And then back over here behind these boxes, you're going to find piece number two. So once again, let's just check out our position on the map. So you can see we just went right out of this cave, down the hill, and found ourselves out in front of the still ruins, not in the still ruins. So from here, let's go ahead and go back to Skyhold and check out its position on the wall. Alright, we'll head up the stairs here into the keep. And over on the left hand side, you will see that is piece number two. We'll be back with number three in just a moment. Alright, piece number three is going to be found out in the western approach from Nazir's Pass Camp. You're going to make your way north and west out of camp. 
towards the ravine that kind of uh, is in the middle of the map here. So we're going to head down here. You can see here's this big ravine that's right ahead of us. You're looking for this cave called the Oasis Cave. So the best way to get there is honestly just mount up and head down here. And what you can do is you can kind of skip a lot of the combat nonsense and literally drop off the side of this mountain. Because the cave we're looking for is literally right over there. But we got put into combat, so what we're going to do is just drop down here the no way we normally would if we were walking. And we'll climb down. But you can fall off the edge there with your mount, and you'll be fine. You don't take any damage, obviously. If you've ever fallen with your mount before, you know that. Once you get down here, though, you want to head over to where we are now. Let's pull it up on the map one more time. All right, and you're going to head inside the cave. There are no enemies to contend with inside the cave. No spiders, no nonsense. Just head inside, and right back here towards this landmark, you're going to find your mosaic piece. So we'll go ahead and grab that. That gives us piece number three, and then we'll head back to Skyhold and check out its location on the wall. We'll see how quickly the loading happens today. Dear Cassandra, So quickly, we didn't even get to read Solus' letter to Cassandra. But not quickly enough for there not to just be the endless Black Death screen. There we go. Alright, so now we're back in Skyhole. We're going to head up the stairs, inside, and to the left on the wall by Gatsy. Behind him, you're going to see that was piece number three. So we're That's on to number lot. four in Strange just a moment. All right, piece number four. Piece number four is going to be out in the western approach. Uh, the closest camp is going to be Craggy Ridge Camp. In order to get to this one, you need to come to this point on the map right here and find this operations marker. It creates a war table operation on your map called Crossing the Sulphur Pits. You've got to complete that war table operation in order to get to a cave that is located right up here. And that's where you're going to find your mosaic piece. So you're going to have to come down here and drop this flag that you see behind us, clear out the sulfur pits, and then you're going to be able to get access to this cave. But once you get down here, yeah. you just make your way across, and you can see the marker that we dropped kind of illuminated in the background there. We'll head over there. And check out the contents of the cave. Alright. So get over here, head down into the cave. Search around, and on the ground over here by the chest, you will find piece number four. So we'll head back to Skyhold now and check out its position on the wall. Yeah, if you get down there and there's a bunch of like green gas that makes you cough and choke as you get near, it's just because you've got to drop that war table operation and then go do it. And It's not something that takes time. I think it costs like five power, but it's called crossing sulfur pits, and that clears out that whole area, and then you can dip up into that cave and uh, get your mosaic piece, so it doesn't... It's not like something that takes like four hours to do or anything like that. It's definitely just a uh, small power cost and then you can clear it out. But if you head up into Skyhold over here on the left, you'll see that was piece number four. We're on to number five in just a moment. All right, pieces five and six are going to be uh, in this part because they are found in the exact same location and we're not doing two separate video uh, segments for something this close together. So we're out in the western approach. That's where you're going to find them. From Nazir's Pass Camp, you want to head south all the way down here until you get into a uh, little area that has a bunch of ruins in it, some stone blocks all over the place, right? 
uh, you're going to come to where we are on the map right now, this structure here, kind of towards the back of the area, and there may or may not be a block in the way keeping you from getting in. Typically, this block goes away after you kill the dragon in this area. However, if you do not kill the dragon in this area and you still want to get in and kill this thing off, or sorry, still want to get in and collect these, you can absolutely do that. Um, rogue throwing knives will break it, and also a... Uh, Warrior's Weapon Chain will break it, so you can see that skill we have there at the top right of the screen there that's uh, attached to our right bumper. Uh, hopefully, if he throws it correctly, it should destroy it. Yes, okay. So that's how you would get in there if you haven't killed the dragon off yet, or if for some reason the bug is back in the game where the block comes back even after you kill the dragon. So... But once you get that killed off, or blown up, or whatever you want to call it, I'm not sure you can kill a block, but you're going to want to head in here, and around the back of this statue, you're going to find pieces 5 and 6. As I said, we are not going to do these separately, because that would be fucking retarded. So now we're going to go back to Skyhold, and check out their position on the wall. They are right next to one another. They are position uh, 5 and 6. So we'll grab these... Head back and check them out on the wall. Why do the loading screens seem less bad today? I think it's a lie. I think they're just as bad. We're just so used to them that they're not seeming as bad. Alright, so head up to the sky held and over here on the wall... You see, that was pieces five and six. We're halfway there. We're on to number seven in just a moment. All right, piece number seven is going to be found out in the western approach. You're going to want to start at Nazir's Pass Camp. You're going to want to head south down in the area where you found pieces five and six. Head all the way down south past the large central structure in that area, which is this what's right in front of us here and head around the back of it and you're gonna find this campsite around the back side head down in here and when you get down in here you're gonna find this cave this cave uh, is actually the end of a quest uh, called on the chantry trail and what you're gonna to wanna to do is break down this barrier and then once it's down go ahead and head inside and this one winds all the way down in here. Once you get in here, I think over on the left, you find it. Yep, there we go. So that should be piece number seven. We'll head back to Skyhold and check out its position on the map, or on the, uh, on the wall. So if you're having trouble with that barrier, uh, now that they put out the uh, Trespasser DLC and the patch that was associated with it, you had the ability to uh, make all the enemies in the game under challenges. Uh, yeah, there's a little checkbox that makes all the enemies in the game your level. If you're having trouble with barriers in general, uh, try unchecking that if you have it turned on. It may have leveled up the barrier to be whatever level you are. And depending on how high a level you are when you attempt uh, to kill off a barrier, uh, it can be kind of a pain in the ass when the barrier is like level 25 instead of level 1 like it's supposed to be. So, here is the seventh piece on the wall, and we'll be back with number eight in just a moment. All right, piece number eight is going to be found out in the western approach. You're going to want to start at Craggy Ridge Camp. From Craggy Ridge Camp, you're going to head west towards the edge of the zone here where it drops off. You saw there was like a little landmark that was marked on my map. If you head down over here to this ledge... You can kind of drop down, and you're going to find this landmark here. Mark it. That should be the hidden stairway. And then go all the way down to the bottom here, and underneath the scaffolding, you're going to find your mosaic piece. So here's where we are on the map. So we just kind of headed over towards the landmark and then dropped all the way down to the bottom. This one's real easy to find, um, once you know where it's at, that is, I suppose. But we're going to head back to Skyhold and check out its position on the wall. Probably not that easy to find if you have no idea that there is actually a little area there that you can climb into and 
find shit in, but uh, once you know that, it's easy to stumble across. So once we get into Skyhold, we will head up into the keep and check out this one's position on the wall. It should be right over on the left as you enter the keep, uh, right behind Gatsy. That's where they're stacking up the arch demon tiles for us. And, yep, there we go. That is piece number eight. We're on to number nine in just a moment. All right, number nine is going to be found out in the western approach near Craggy Ridge Camp. In order to get this one, you must complete all three of the astrariums out here in the western approach. Once that is done, you will find this piece inside the astrarium cave that, once they're complete, they direct you to right here. All right, so from Craggy Ridge Camp, which is where we are now, you just head north and east just a little bit towards this structure you see that is right next to camp. Can't miss it. You're going to head down past the structure and drop down. We'll need to look around. Right here. And this is the Astrarium Cave. This will be closed off until you complete all three Astrariums out here. Head down into the cave, in there, make sure you grab some veil fire if you haven't been down in here before, because you will need it. But head all the way down here into the vault, and over here on the left, you will find your mosaic piece. We'll hop up here, search around, and there it is. So we'll take that, head back to Skyhold, and check out its location on the wall. Now, down in there, there's all kinds of other goodies. I don't want to spoil it for you, but you definitely want to explore down in that little vault if you haven't done so previously. Uh, there is also a schematic for one of your runes down in there. That's why I wanted you to grab your veil fire. So, as I said, all kinds of good stuff down there, good treasure. Um, yeah, just look around. You're going to find good stuff in there. But, uh, game crash. Sorry. Uh, let's head up into Skyhold. And over here on the wall on the left, you will see that was piece number nine. So you can see there's nine on the wall. We are on to number ten in just a moment. All right, piece number ten is going to be located out in the western approach from Echo Bat Canyon Camp. Head south and a little bit west out of camp. You have a moment. And once you get out here, you are going to see a small encampment over here to the west. That usually has some NPCs floating around in it. Sometimes it's uh, just some beasts of some sort or another. Or also some Venatori can be present in this camp. But if you head down to the second set of tents over here on the right, you're going to find your mosaic piece. So go ahead and grab that. That gives us piece number 10. And we're going to head back to Skyhold to check out its position on the wall. Now, if you don't know how to get to Echo Back Canyon Camp, the first thing you need to do in the western approach is capture the keep. Once you've captured the keep, you're going to be given a quest called Trouble with Darkspawn, which leads you to a war table operation that you drop a flag for out in the western approach for dealing with Darkspawn, and then you do the War Table operation, and finally you can continue on into the zone and eventually get to Echo Back Canyon Camp. But more or less, just follow the quests out in the zone, and you'll get there eventually. It's nothing too complicated, so don't sweat it if you can't quite get there just yet. You can see that was now piece number 10. We're on to 11 in just a moment. All right, number 11 is going to be found out in the western approach. You're going to want to start at Echo Back Canyon Camp. If you're not sure how to get to Echo Back Canyon Camp, you need to first come over here and capture the keep. You're going to get a quest called Trouble with Darkspawn. It's going to lead you up to this Inquisition War Table operation called uh, Finding the Source of Darkspawn. Drop the operation flag. Go back to Skyhold. Do the operation on your war table. It'll send you back here. You head up through here into an area known as Korakavas, and Korakavas dumps you out over here and right in front of Echo Back Canyon Camp. From the camp, make your way down through the canyon and all the way up to this fort right here. This is Echo Back Fort. 
And once you get inside the fort, if you haven't been out here before, you are definitely going to hit some combat. But deal with all the baddies in here, kill them all off, and then head back towards this tent. And it is underneath the tent that you will find piece number 11. So we'll go ahead and grab that, and then we will head back to Skyhold. And check out its position on the wall. If you still can't sort out how to get over there, don't hesitate to uh, leave me a comment in the comment section, and I will go over it. Uh, I can go over it with you again. I just didn't want to take too much time with it in the video, since it's kind of a natural progression of events out there that sends you over to that area. But uh, it can be kind of a pain in the ass to sort out sometimes. I uh, I can understand that. So leave me a message, and uh, I'll definitely respond to you and help you out any way I can. But let's go up into the keep, and over here on the left side of the keep near Gatsy, we will find piece number 11 placed on the wall. Nice and neat. We are on to our 12th and final one in just a moment. All right, number 12, out in the western approach. You're going to want to come out to where Griffin Wing Keep is. Head outside the keep, so just outside the main entrance. Make your way all the way around to the back side of the keep, and you are going to find the outpost well entrance back there. Make sure you have a mage with you. Also beware there are random spawn venatory camps out here you may have to deal with, as well as just random NPC beasts that stumble into your videos. So head up the hill and you're gonna find another barrier blocking your way. Just have your mage deal with that. And then head inside. There are no bad guys inside here, no beasts. Just head all the way down the hill, back towards the uh, well bucket that you see here. And on the other side of the landmark, you're gonna find piece number 12. And that will complete your Arch Demon Mosaic collection. So that's it for all of these. We're not going to go back to Skyhold and check out its position on the wall because there was only one position for it to go in. So that's it for all of this. I hope it helped you track them all down a little bit easier. If you have any questions, please post your comments in the section below. And if you got anything out of this, I really would appreciate a sub on the channel or a like on the video. But as always, thanks for watching. Take care.